Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So last week, as I posted, Microsoft released the latest Patch Tuesday security update for Windows 11 24H2, KB5058411. The video for that will be linked down below and in the end screen. Now, unfortunately, once again, there are numerous reports doing the rounds online that users are reporting installation failures with this update. Now, this is not official confirmation by Microsoft. It's not even a known issue. But according to upvotes on Microsoft support forums, there are plenty of Windows 11 24H2 users who are saying that the update is failing to install. And the affected users say the update is failing with different error codes, which could be any one of these error codes. So you can just pause the video at the relevant timestamp. There's the different codes. And this is all according to, as mentioned, upvotes on the support forum of Microsoft. Now, apparently the symptoms of the update failing to install are something similar to this where Windows Update stalls at 6% download and it doesn't go any further. And then it shows one of these one of these five different errors as mentioned. So that's just a brief description of what is happening. Now, if you are affected by this issue, there are reports by users on the forum that to resolve the issue, you can use the fix problems using Windows Update option, which is one of the recovery options as part of uh, Windows 11, as you may well know. So to get to that, we would head to our system, scroll down to recovery, and here you'll see fix problems using Windows Update, reinstall your current version of Windows, your apps, files, and settings will be preserved. And I've posted a video on how to use this feature. I'll leave that linked as well if you would be interested. So for some users, fixing problems using Windows Update is working. So if the negatives are outweighing the positives, then obviously you can try this option. And once again, it seems that we need a Windows update to fix a Windows update, which always makes me chuckle. But give it a shot, as mentioned. And obviously, if I get any news officially from Microsoft or any more info, I'll post ASAP and let you guys know. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.